Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope you're all well, doing okay at this end. I thought today we would do an alcohol ink painting. Now it's been a little while and I've been thinking about this for some time and I thought today would be the day. Time to pull up my socks and get to it. So I'm going to use uh, both Pinata inks and Ranger inks. I'm going to use a stamp from Lavinia Stamps, which is out of the UK, some archival ink for my stamping, and that's just about it. This is photo paper from Staples for those of you who are in Canada and the US, and we always work on the matte side, not the shiny side, but the matte side. So what I want to do is sort of make a alcohol ink framework for our centerpiece, which will be our stamp. So I'm going to, now I'm looking for a lighter blue. I have a blah, I keep, I'm going to use this. You can make your own ink and it's really easy. It's just a matter of, you know, pulling apart some Sharpies or whatever you choose to do. Drop it into a container such as this one and add some alcohol and let it sit, you know, for a couple of days till all the uh, ink is taken out of your uh, Sharpie. Your Sharpie being the inside of a Sharpie or whatever marker you're using. Okay, so let's start by uh, just do our background and that's going to be in this beautiful blue. And I'm just going to Rub that on with my finger. And take a minute to dry that with my blow dryer. Now, those of you who have worked with alcohol ink know that the alcohol evaporates very quickly, so your piece will dry quickly. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my inks for my framework. And I'm just going to use this to stamp in my colors. And let's start with yellow. Stand quite close to the edge. Okay, and some tangerine. Now we can always come back and add more of any color that we choose. Some magenta. Now, if you get dots like this, it's all right, because you're going to come in with some more colors and they're going to blend somewhat. So some Baja Blue. Oops, sorry. It's a strong color, so you want to be fairly careful with that color or any colors that are dominant like this.
let me see some green and butterscotch now I'm going to start coming with a q-tip just to give it a little bit more of a not quite so smudged I don't know how to explain that a little bit more dotty <laughs> Although I do like the smudged. It's the first time I've used this thing. And I'm kind of liking it. So I might go back and redo that with the... I think it's probably a mixture of both. Maybe down here, use my Q-tip. And you just learn to play with it. A little more yellow, I think. Okay, I think what I'm doing now is not coming in with this quite so fast, so I'm getting my little circles that I wanted. So, yeah, just play with it. Just figure it out. I think I need a little more magenta. How are we doing? I think we lost a bit of our blue, so we'll come back with our blue. Okay. And let's see, a little more orange, I think. I think we're just about there.
Okay, I think that's about it. It's about where I want it, I think. Uh, a touch more green, I believe. I have to break this up. So I'm going to come in with a touch of yellow. Okay, that will do it. Now I'm going to dry that. And we'll come back in and apply our stamp. Okay, so I've dried my alcohol inks but in looking at this I think I want to have a little bit of um, a base here for my for my fairy to stand on so I'm just going to take a sharpie and draw in and I'm not going to make a line straight across I'm going to give the illusion of a bit of a hill like that and I'm going to fill that in with a thicker sharpie just to give the illusion of it being some landscape. And I'm going to dry this again, and then we'll come in with our, come in with our stamp. Okay, so everything is dry. I have my stamp on my, on my block. And we're just going to apply our step now. And as I mentioned, these are Lavinia stamps. Little fantasy fairies. They're gorgeous. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Now I want to place her. Just above our little hill there, I want her her feet to show. I don't want her feet to blend into the uh, the little hill we created. Now I'm going to hold that down for ten or fifteen seconds, just to make sure I get a good impression. beautiful okay now I'm going to dry her because this since it's on photo paper such a smooth surface it will smudge very quickly so we'll be back in a moment now I have dried that but I've also decided to come in with a couple of little mushrooms again from Lavinia stamps I'll put a couple, two or three, depending on how much room we have, down and then dry this once again. That one slid a little bit. Hope
hopefully we're still okay. Yep, we're okay. And one in the middle. That works. We'll dry that again and we'll be back to finish up. So I've dried that and meanwhile I've decided I wanted to add a couple little birds. So I'm going to take a micron pen, a 03, if I can find it. I have a zero one here. Yeah, I guess we could do it with a zero one. Love my crown pens. Okay. Oh, I have a zero three here. <laughs> okay. Let's try it with the zero one first and see what we have. Some little birds here. Going different directions. Just a few. There we have it. I just want a little bit more life there. I guess we'll give them a little bit of a body. Okay, so that's our little masterpiece. Now I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, would love a thumbs up makes all the difference in the world to me and apparently to YouTube. Comments, uh, they look for comments. You know, there's all kinds of things that go into uh, YouTube deciding what they're going to, you know, push forward. And yeah, so anyway, I hope you learned a little bit from that. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.